As the controversy surrounding abortions continues after the overturn of Roe v. Wade, people are looking for other ways to keep unwanted pregnancies from happening. Now, doctors say more patients are asking for vasectomies. So how do they work and what do you need to know if it's something that you're considering? Bridget Ellison is standing by now to ask a doctor. Ask a Doctor is sponsored by Conviva Primary Care for Seniors. Vasectomies are actually something more people are talking about right now. In fact, the number of Google searches for the word vasectomy peaked just one day after the Supreme Court's ruling last month. And that's why Dr. Jamin Brambat, a urologist with Orlando Health, joining us today. Thank you, Dr. Brambat, for coming in. Thanks for having in. me. Appreciate it. We appreciate you being here. Why do you see this increase in demand, you think? You know, I think some of it does have to do with the Supreme Court decision. It may also be the awareness that's being raised about vasectomy as a birth control option for men with segments like this in the media and elsewhere online. Um, but I think also men realize that they need to take ownership as well. So conversations that are happening maybe superficially are happening much deeper in the relationship. So I think it's multifactorial. What, can you explain a little bit about how the procedure works? I know you brought in a, a prop to sort of explain. <laughs> I did. So uh, vasectomy is a very quick procedure. It takes about 15, 20 minutes to do. It can be done in the office or under sedation in the operating room. It's essentially, all we're really doing is that little tube that brings a sperm from your testicle to your ejaculate. We're pretty much dividing it. Okay. People may do it a little bit differently, but we, when, once we divide it, you pretty much no longer can have a baby because the sperm is not going to be there when you ejaculate. So it's pretty simple. And is that involving lasers or, you know, sutures or what, what is the actual um, chance of reversing it these days? Because we talk about that as well. Yeah. So uh, there's really no sutures involved, and it's actually just a little pinpoint opening that we make in the scrotal skin when we're doing the vasectomy. Um, the way we kind of keep the areas closed may have some clips or some sutures, but people may do it differently, but essentially we want to keep them separate because we don't want small little sperms kind of going from here to the other side and then the guy becoming fertile again. So vasectomy reversals, uh, I'm just going to say this, think of this as permanent. Okay. All men should think of this as permanent. Now, I actually do vasectomy reversals in guys that kind of have changed their sometimes. mind. Uh, but when you go in, do not go in thinking, oh, I can always reverse it. Uh, because it, you're, you're, it's just not as effective as you know, your natural mm -hmm. tube when it's actually patent. So. As far as fertility goes, could you go see a fertility specialist to, you know, if you decide you do want to have children or try for children, um, maybe just similar to how women have eggs collected. Is that still a possibility Absol even without reversing it? Absolutely. So I actually tell my patients before we do a vasectomy, hey, you can always freeze your sperm. You can go okay. to one of the local banks here or there's like online companies where you can freeze your sperm. Um, but honestly, most of my men, they're ready to go. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the men that come in with their partners are, are always ready to go. But I'm also seeing more men that have not had any, had any children. Mm -hmm. So that one is a much more intimate conversation. But if that's the path he wants to take, then I'm, I'm here to provide that service to him. Mm -hmm. And so, like you said, you are seeing um, singles come in. But uh, what, what in terms of the partner and that conversation, it's ultimately the male's decision to do that, whether the partner agrees or not, even though it is an important conversation to have? It's funny you're asking this question because this is actually a conversation we're having in my own house. Because mm -hmm. uh, we've been talking about, you know, what's the next step for us? I have three daughters. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, you know, in the next couple of weeks, I'm actually supposed to get a vasectomy myself. So guys, I know what you're going through uh -huh. in your head. It really has to come down to you because vasectomies do have risks as well. There's a risk of bleeding, infection, pain. 1% of vasectomies, you can have chronic pain or feeling of congestion. Mm -hmm. What a vasectomy does not do, it does not affect your sexual function. It also does not affect your libido or testosterone. A lot of guys think, oh my God, I'm mm -hmm. not going to be a man anymore. If anything, I feel if you decide to take ownership of birth control, you're actually more of a man uh, in my eyes. So... And when it comes to, um, you know, people looking at this as an option, have you found that some, those are major fears um, for people? Is, like, what, what would you say are the number one fears that are holding people back from maybe they would consider it, but they're just hesitant? You know, you, hesitant. Would, you would think it'd be infection or something like that, but it's usually what their friend told them about their vasectomy experience. <laughs> so you really have to kind of talk to your doctor about, hey, what are the other options? Like, I don't want to be awake when you're doing this. Can I get some laughing gas? That's what we provide in our office can I just be completely put to sleep? So there's lots of ways we can kind of get you through that whole process. But I think the biggest barriers, as I said, is usually someone told them, man, it's a horrible experience. It is not. 500,000 people a year in America get a vasectomy. 
And insurance covers this many times, or how, to, how expensive can it be? Uh, insurance can cover it, absolutely, um, but there's also uh, cash pay options. It's it, probably no more than a couple hundred dollars if right. you had to pay, but in, most insurances do cover it. Okay, Dr. Brombot with Orlando Health. Great information, and we appreciate you taking time out to come in and answer those important questions. Thank you.